Hey, I saw a lot of positive things from you tonight. Most importantly, you didn't seem intimidated by being on the bigger stage or by being locked in the cage with a monster. So with that being said, we'd like to offer you an NXT contract. Hallo liebe YouTube-Freunde und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge von WWE 2K19. Wir machen unsere Karriere weiter. In der ersten, oder besser gesagt in der letzten Folge, haben wir ja unser erstes ähm, Indie-Match bestritten, was wir erfolgreich ja, gewonnen haben. Und als Belohnung kriegen wir ein try out match Hier, so wie es aussieht, bei war gegen jemand anderes als... Braun, Strowman und dann auch noch in einem Steel Cage Match. Also wir können davon ausgehen, dass wir dieses Match definitiv nicht gewinnen werden. Aber wie gesagt, es ist ja auch ein try out Match. Man will sehen, wie weit wir sind. So, ich würde sagen, wir machen Kapitel 2. Skandale sind die Lizenz zum Gelddrucken. So, wir können mit ähm, Alexa Bliss reden. Dann machen wir das mal. Hey, I've seen some of your indie stuff online. Not bad. Hi, ich habe was von deinem Indie-Kram online gesehen. Nicht schlecht. Danke, nett, dass du das sagst. Danke, äh, irgendwelche Tipps in Sachen Pornstormen. Danke, ich schaue dich mir jede Woche im Fernsehen an. Ich weiß nur nicht, wie winzig du in echt bist. Du hast äh, deine erste Log-Entscheidung erreicht. Je nachdem, welche Wahl du triffst, ändert sich gleich der Verlauf der Unterhaltung oder was passiert, also wähle Weise. Wir bedanken uns einfach. Oh, you thought I was serious? <lacht> I don't have time to watch nobodies like you, especially nobodies who are going to get destroyed by Braun Strowman. Genau. Das war ja klar. Hochnäsig hoch 3. So, reden wir mal mit Baron Blade. Du hast schon früher mit der WWE gearbeitet, irgendwelche letzten Ratschläge. Just make the most of your opportunity, win or lose. Matt Bloom brought you in here because he saw something in you. Just go out there and show him that again. Oh, and try to get some free swag. I'd like a Budio's lunchbox if you're taking requests. Ich habe wichtig im Kopf als eine Budio's lunchbox. What? Like a replica title belt? Of course. Just trying to keep the mood light. But if you do see a lunchbox lying around. Der hat Probleme. Launchbox. Gut. Ab geht's zum tryout match Kicken Bronstorm, ich habe keine Lust. Zeig Triple H, dass du es ernst meinst. Indem du gegen Bronstorm in den Käfig. Ja. Und Was war das denn? Man könnte ja gar nichts machen. Dieses geskriptete Kacke. Aber wir sind ja, wie gesagt, noch im Aufbau. Und es war schon klar, dass wir gegen den nicht gewinnen werden. You did a good job out there. Really? Feels like I got run over by a big bearded tank. Think it was enough for him to sign me? I don't know. But no matter what, you always have a home in the BCW. Thanks. Hey, I saw a lot of positive things from you tonight. Most importantly, you didn't seem intimidated by being on the bigger stage or by being locked in the cage with a monster. So with that being said, We'd like to offer you an NXT contract. Look that over and return it at tomorrow night's show. This is amazing. Thank you. I would shake your hand, but I think three of my fingers are dislocated. 
Don't worry about it. Rest up and we'll finalize everything tomorrow night. You did it. I'm shocked. Me too. I just can't believe it. I mean, against all odds. I know. I'll definitely be sad to see you go. You've become one of my top guys. You'll be fine though, right? I mean, you got Cole and the rest of the crew, yeah? Sorry, what, what am I doing? This is your time to celebrate, not to worry about me and BCW. You enjoy the moment. I'm gonna go talk to Triple H about when you might start, so maybe I can get you on one more BCW show. We'll do a big farewell match. It'll be great. Sounds good. I... I'll see you back at the hotel. Congrats. I'm... I'm proud of you. Thanks, Baron. Couldn't have done it without you. Aber ich sag's mal von vornherein klar, dass wir das nicht schaffen werden. Was tonight just a one-time thing? Or are you signing with WWE? Well, actually, I was literally just offered an NXT contract and I can't wait to get started. You should just skip NXT and go straight to the main roster. Actually, you know what? Hey, Triple H, you say listen to your audience? Well, the audience is saying that I'm good enough to go straight to the main roster, which actually, I think I proved it tonight by going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Braun Strowman in a steel cage and not backing down, but... Und da wurden wir das erste Mal hinterrücks attackiert. Auch sehr schön. Das wird, denke ich mal, unser nächster Gegner sein. <lacht> Der nächste Tag. I proved it tonight by going toe to toe with Braun Strowman in a steel cage and not backing down, but less than 24 hours. After we offer you the opportunity of a lifetime, you get into a fight with a fan outside a WWE event, and there's video. I'd really love to hear this explanation. I am so... Sorry, I never intended for this to happen, and I can promise you it will never, never happen again. I didn't ask for an apology. I asked for an explanation. You need to understand, this isn't some rinky-dink independent promotion running shows at the Elks Lodge. This is a global company. We can't have our WWE superstars getting into fights with fans. It's unprofessional, and it will not be tolerated. On top of that, you were caught on camera bashing NXT, saying you were going straight to the main roster. Who in the hell do you think you are? Look, I was just having fun with the fans, okay? I was just about to say that I would be happy to go to NXT, and then I was attacked. Oh, I bet. This is what I get for trying to do business with one of your guys, Baron. Come on, Hunter. Can't you just find him or something? No, I can't find him if he's not on the active roster. I'm rescinding the contract offer. Leave or I will have security escort you out. Don't ever bring me one of his guys again. Understood. This is on you too. Remember what I said about making me regret my decision? Congratulations. You did it in record time. Hey, this wasn't your fault. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Now, come on, grab your stuff. We gotta go. Und schon ist der Traum wieder vorbei und wir sind wieder zurück in der Indie Szene. Einige Tage später. Just a minute. Wakey, wakey, Jake the Snakey. <sighs> it is too early for that to be funny. Sorry, I couldn't wait to tell you the good news. Triple H called and wants to offer me a contract again? No, better. What could be better than that? 
Well, after news of your NXT contract being pulled hit the internet, your fan fight video went viral. It's over 2 million views now. Sorry, make that 2.2 million. So a whole lot of people have watched me throw my career away. Why is that a good thing? Because controversy creates cash. My phone's been blowing up. Everyone wants to book you now. You're the hottest thing on the indie scene. And based upon the principle of supply, there's only one of you. And demand, like I said, is high. Your rate is skyrocketing. Okay, okay, this could be good. It could be very good. We could turn chicken crap into chicken salad, if you know what I'm saying. I don't think I get it. You're gonna stick it to Triple H and WWE by making your own success in the indies. You'll be way bigger than you ever would have been in NXT or WWE, and we'll do it together. So what do you say? Are you in? I mean... <laughs> What other choice do I have? I'm in. I'm in. All right. Now, go brush your teeth. Your breath is terrible. It's too early for this. Kapitel 2 Belohnungen haben wir wieder gekriegt. Sehr schön. So. Und die nächste Woche. Uh, somebody want to explain to me what's going on here? Give me a minute. Welcome to the new reality of BCW. Because of all your online hype, we sold out our usual allotment of tickets a few days ago. But, since I'm an entrepreneurial genius, I pulled some strings with the school principal, allowing us to move the show outside. Therefore, doubling our capacity. <laughs> All right. All right. Good work. But that's not all. See those fancy video cameras and that nice gentleman I was just speaking with? Uh, yeah. For the first time ever, BCW will be live streaming our event around the world on pay-per-view. So anyone who's not lucky enough to see Buzz in person can still watch him do his thing from the comfort of their homes for a small but fair fee. Isn't it great? Uh, yeah, it's great. Question, who is Buzz? Oh, <laughs> that's your new nickname. You know, because of all the social media buzz you're generating. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Buzz? <laughs> it's all turning into chicken salad, my friend. Uh, <laughs> yeah, speaking of making things not crappy, have you seen Cole? I feel like I should talk to him before our match tonight. Well, he's around here somewhere. And, oh, by the way, your match with him tonight is now Falls Count Anywhere. Thought you two could have some fun with all the extra space out here. <laughs> fun, yeah. You really have an odd definition of the word fun. <laughs> Ein Falls Count Anywhere Match. Wieder gegen den Podcast. No. His voice was the soundtrack for the biggest matches in squared circle history. And now he breaks down the latest happens in the world of pro wrestling. Get ready for enticing conversations with legendary wrestling commentator Jack Tice. Former wrestler now any promoter Baron Blade has been in the news along with his protege from BCW, who reports say had a contract offer on the table from WWE until he got into a fight with a masked fan outside the arena after his tryout match. Now, word is Triple H was furious and pulled the contract offer the next day. We uh, tracked down the person who recorded the video of the altercation that went viral, and uh, he had this to say. I was recording the video on my phone when the guy in the mask came out of nowhere and attacked him. I didn't get a real good look at the mask guy because it happened so fast, but from the way he was fighting, it seemed like he knew what he was doing. Like he wasn't just some regular fan. Interesting first-hand account on what went down, but uh, I wanted to hear from the man who's now capitalizing on this controversy. So uh, I reached out to BCW owner Baron Blade. Uh, here's a preview of what he had to say. Jack, you've been in this business for a long time, so you know it was once possible for a wrestler to be successful outside the WWE umbrella. 
And that's what I'm trying to do with BCW and Buzz. That's what we're calling him now, by the way, on account of all the buzz he's generating. But back to my point, which is, who knows what would have happened if Buzz signed with NXT? It might have been two or three years before he was called up to Raw or SmackDown, and there's no guaranteeing that would have even happened at all. But I'm helping him make his own success right now. BCW is small, and we can move fast to capitalize on all the attention. WWE is this huge behemoth of a company where you need to hold 25 meetings to make a decision that we can make in two minutes. Oh, I know all about that, believe me. And I'm not saying that BCW is going to take down WWE. I mean, I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. All I'm saying is that guys like Buzz and Cole Quinn have a lot more opportunities right now with me than they might ever have with WWE. Very interesting comments from Baron Blade, who is about to hold BCW's very first internet-only pay-per-view. Uh, Buzz, as Baron's calling him, has made his name online, and they're sticking with that platform for their show. A smart move, in my opinion. Uh, coming up, you'll hear much more from my conversation with Baron Blade, including who he thinks might have attacked his protege, Buzz. You want to miss out on that. But first, a word from our sponsors. From inside the ring to behind the scenes, you're about to be up to no good with former WWE superstar Hood Benson and his co-host Pete Clark. Uh, all right, yeah, Pete, I, I'm, I'm just saying, Pete, you can't get into a fight with a fan, no matter what the circumstances are. Oh, but Hood, the you know, fan it, attacked it, him it, first. What was he supposed it, to do? Hey, yeah, yeah, look, 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 look. I, I, I get it. You know, it's, it's, it's a tough situation to be in. You know, fans are crazy. You know, and oh, yeah. if 30 years ago, I, I probably would have done much worse than this <laughs> yes, guy you did. Would. And, you know, uh -huh. I ended up in jail. Yeah. You know? My point. But, 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 but he has to realize that WWE is the big leagues. Yeah, well. You know, this is not, this, this, this is this is not in the garage. You know, this, this is there's zero tolerance for that sort of thing. There's no ifs and or butts about it. And then that, that's why Triple H had no chance to but to pull this contract. No choice. Well, I would have liked to see him get a second chance. A, a second chance? Yeah. No, he, he, he ain't even had he, he ain't even signed the contract yet for his first chance. All right. <laughs> you know, he, he, he didn't even earn a right for a second chance. Okay, fine. <laughs> but let's talk about what's happened since then. The videos of the fight have gone viral and BCW is capitalizing on the notoriety uh, by having their very first online pay-per-view. Uh, so it yeah. seems as if Baron Blade and his protege are making a positive out of this, no? Uh, I, I, I will give him credit for that. Right. You, know, you, you got to strike while the iron's hot. Yeah. Right now, this this guy's lava hot. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, we, we wouldn't be talking about him otherwise. Mm -hmm. So, are you going to order the pay-per-view? I do want to see what this guy's all about in the ring. You know? So I was thinking maybe you could order it at your house and I'll come over to watch. Yeah, uh, I knew that was bring coming. Bring some chips and everything. Hey, yeah, what, yeah. What, what do I always say? It's, it's not how much you make, it's how much you save. Yeah, by mooching off your friends. Exactly. Well, no, nah, you know, hey, look, I'll get the next one. <laughs> oh, famous <laughs> last words. Sure you will. Let's take a minute to hear from our advertisers who pay for this show and also allow me to afford to have you use my friend. <laughs> ich finde das richtig cool mit diesem Podcast. Richtig geil gemacht. Gehen wir zu Berwin. Sollten Cole und ich heute Abend wirklich gegeneinander wrestlen, angesichts dessen, was nach unserer letzten Match alles passiert ist, haben wir jetzt eine fiese Vorgeschichte. That's exactly why you two should face each other. The fans are dying to see what happens next. In fact, I just heard so many people were trying to buy the pay-per-view that the website crashed. Schätze, die wollen uns echt dringend kämpfen sehen. Ist die Seite wieder online? Yeah, it was only temporary. And remember, it's falls count anywhere tonight. So feel free to take the fight wherever you need to. Just as long as you don't damage the principal's car. She'll never let me do this out here again. Deal? Abgemacht. So, reden wir mal mit Cole. There he is. The man who drowned in his own rising tide. Come back to apologize to me for stealing my shot at WWE and immediately throwing it away? <laughs> Look, I am not apologizing for anything, okay? All I want to say is that we don't need to have each other's backs, but with what Baron is planning to do, the least we could do is have each other's respect. All right? So, are we good? <laughs> oh, yeah. We're so good? I thought I'd introduce you to my new character I'm trying out tonight. You remember how Matt Bloom didn't like Mr. CQ and decided to give you a tryout instead of me? Sure. 
Smart decision. I'm calling myself Black Hole Coal because I have an energy so intense, nothing can escape it. <sighs> what? Oh, you don't like it? Why? I'm not a fan of masks these days. <laughs> You know, I find it really interesting that I was attacked by somebody wearing a mask, and next time I see you, you have a mask. Not to mention, you also had all the motivation in the world to do it. Hmm. You're right. It was me. So what are you gonna do about it? Uh, you better tell me the truth right now. It wasn't me! I, uh, I had a match that night 300 miles away. I got the gas receipts to prove it. But I could have hired somebody to do it. What?! There was a joke! Man, relax. You're real funny. Real funny. We'll see who's laughing after our match tonight. Hmm, er könnte es gewesen sein. The audience will be showing up soon. Get back to the cafeteria kitchen. I mean, locker room. <laughs> Auf zum Match. So, los geht's. Mit Maske. Oh Mann. So, bringt Kohls Gesundheit in den gelben Bereich und trifft ihn dann mit einem Schlag. Black Hole Cole still feels like Buzz stole his WWE opportunity. Ja, was für ein Schlag. He's out for revenge. He should also get revenge on whoever told him that new name was a good idea. So gehen wir mal raus. Oder? Ah, wir holen ihn wieder rein. Hey, Triple H, I know you're watching. Impressed with what you see so far? Well, sorry, you had a shot. Yo, was war das denn? You blew it. They're BCW for life now. Okay, Konda. For those of you who are late to the party, welcome to BCW's very first streaming pay-per-view. Where Buzz, that's his name now, if you've been living under a rock, and Black Hole Cole, okay, are facing each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. So. We apologize if anyone's having difficulty with your pay-per-view stream. To be honest, we underestimated the demand to see Buzz in action. Autoreversal. Halte RD gedrückt, um einen Angriff zu kontern. Du brauchst dir keine Gedanken um das Timing oder einen Reversal Vorrat zu machen. Autoreversal kann nicht mit schweren Reversal Signatoren oder Finisher eingesetzt werden. Ah, das war also automatisches Reversal. Closing in die Ringecke. This takes me back to the marathon beatdown between Owen Schwartz and Mason Cunin for the title. Die müssen also raus. So, ist er jetzt im gelben Bereich. Just a reminder, this match is falls count anywhere. Müssen die Eingangsrampe. In the general parking lot area, as we didn't pay to have the street closed. BCW is getting bigger, but we're not traffic control biggest, okay? Unser Revenge steht da. Ist das die Eingangsrampe hier? Erfolg, jetzt. Ach, Mist. Unsere Auto ist kaputt. Ja, 
Ja, super ausgewichen. Mist. Zur südlichen Absperrung. Nimm mit uns. Okay, wir können immer noch kein automatisches Handel machen. Jetzt können wir es. Zur südlichen Absperrung. Zack. That's what BCW is all about. Fan interaction. You don't just come and watch a BCW show. You're a part of it. You take it as a triple H. Die Kirsche. Wo will oh, der Referee ist blöd gegangen. Hey, Triple H, I know you're watching. Da ist zwar die Kirsche, die wir gesehen haben in der ersten Folge. Der ja, Spieler muss über Puffer und Submission BCW gewinnen. Oder? Ja, jetzt soll man den mit den Bearbeiten ein bisschen Action hier reinbringen. Wir haben eine sold-out, record-setting Crowd hier für BCW heute. This is by far the hottest ticket in town. Ja, so nicht. Take that, Bingo Night at St. Mary's Zack. Church. So. Absperrung vielleicht noch? For those of you who are late to the party, welcome to BCW's very first streaming pay-per-view, where Buzz, that's his name now, if you've been living under a rock, and Black Hole Cole... Okay. Are facing each other in a Zack. count anywhere match. Und da war der Finish auch. Jetzt müssen wir außerhalb. Cover. Black Hole Cole still feels like Buzz stole his WWE opportunity. And now he's Gewann. after revenge. He should also get revenge on whoever told him that new name was a good idea. Nächster Sieg gegen Kohl. Sehr schön. That was amazing. The live crowd loved it. You managed to avoid wrecking the principal's car, and the pay-per-view buys were off the charts. You two will be getting nice bonus checks in the mail for that. <laughs> oh, uh, I'll hand deliver yours since the last time I checked, you can't send mail to vans. <laughs> that was quite the battle. It was. Uh, sorry about your windshield. It's okay. Baron said he'd pay for it. <laughs> hey, you're a lot tougher than I thought you were. You proved that tonight. And I didn't really get it before, but now I'm starting to understand why they're calling you Buzz. It's pretty much just Baron calling me that. It's gonna catch on. You'll see. Well, my bad for getting fired up about the mask earlier. We good? We're good. That's great, guys, but don't get too friendly because you'll be facing each other again soon in an even bigger rematch. I just need time to build something. Baron, since when have you built anything ever? Well, I'm not actually building it myself, but I am designing it. In the meantime, I have some great opportunities for both of you to build off the success of tonight's show. Cole, an up-and-coming promotion in Japan wants you to go wrestle for them. Ho, ho, ho. Even Japan can't escape the energy of black hole coal. <laughs> right. Actually, they explicitly said to not do that character. They just want Cole Quinn. And Buzz, we are headed south of the border for a match versus Mexico's hottest luchador, El Mago. Es increíble. 
What? I took a few years of Spanish in high school. What? Guess that'll be useful on our trip. Hey, big things are happening for us in BCW. It's all coming together. Now, what do you say we bring it in for a big celebratory BCW handshake? Yeah. Uh... Ein weiterer Erfolg für uns. Und die nächste Tour geht dann Richtung Windschutzscheibe ansehen. Ach du Scheiße. Und Baron Blade. Und die, ja, wie gesagt, die nächste Richtung ist dann Mexiko. Da wartet unsere Gegner. Und wie es dann weitergeht, sehen wir in der nächsten Folge. Das war eine neue Folge von WWE 2K19. Ich hoffe, die Folge hat euch gefallen. Wenn dem so ist, lasst doch einen positiven Daumen nach oben da. Würde mich riesig freuen. Und ansonsten sehen wir uns dann in der nächsten Folge wieder. Bis dahin verabschiede ich mich. Wünsche euch noch einen schönen Tag und noch viel Spaß mit meinem Kanal. Macht's gut. Ciao.